Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. I hope that you're all having a really great day thus far and so in this video we'll be taking a look at uh, that cold front that is currently affecting the Caribbean and so as we progress into the next couple of days there is going to be an increased chance of rainfall for some areas because that front will still be uh, bringing some impacts and so we'll be taking a look at all that is expected especially in terms of the rainfall uh, and where could receive that increased rainfall activity and so before I go into details please do subscribe if you haven't done so already and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update all right and so let's go ahead and take a look at the satellite imagery here and we can definitely see uh, the front it is actually extensive from the Yucatan and into out into the Atlantic but we can see all that activity mainly in the vicinity of the Northern Caribbean extending into the uh, Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands and the Atlantic and so as I said earlier it's going to continue to affect the region for some time so for the Greater Antilles especially that chance of rainfall is still definitely going to be there as we're going to be heading into uh, throughout today especially in the afternoon hours and also for tomorrow so let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the forecast for this front here and so this is the current uh, surface chart for the Caribbean and we can see that there we have that front as I said ex uh, extended from the Yucatan across the northwestern Caribbean and out into the Atlantic so let's take a look at what is expected of it for the next couple of days and so here we have this forecast map here now this is for tomorrow so 24 hours from now this is what is expected so uh, the front is going to continue making its way toward the southeast and there we have that high that is going to be offshore of the southeastern U.S. And when we think about high pressure systems in the northern hemisphere, they rotate clockwise and so as a result of that clockwise rotation we're gonna have that uh, front being influenced by it. it's actually a stationary front uh, where we have that symbol with the triangle and that semicircle so it becomes a stationary front in the Caribbean however that high is going to be influencing it and we see that that is true as we head to uh, Saturday we can see here that uh, we have that boundary being extended across parts of the Leeward Islands into the Caribbean Caribbean and across Jamaica and it is along the boundary where we have most of that shower and thunderstorm activity taking place so as a result for these areas there is going to be that increased chance of rainfall so let us go ahead and now look at the 24-hour total precipitation map here from the GFS and the euro starting out with GFS and so if you're not familiar with this when we increase uh, as we go up that key that is showing increase in totals and this is the 24 hour accumulated precipitation and of course it is measured in inches so those numbers that you see beside the different shades is uh, really just how much rainfall each of those shades would represent so let's go ahead and see what the GFS has to show here so uh, we can see that there is quite a bit of activity for the northern Caribbean not seeing anything much going on for the southeastern part of the region however as you're going to be heading into Saturday and Sunday notice that pattern where we have that stream of activity making its way across the Caribbean so this is what I was talking about in terms of uh, the high pressure influence in all of that activity because winds rotate clockwise so eventually what is left off the front is going to be following that pattern and that is going to be inducing more rainfall for some areas for the lesser antilles we see mainly guadalupe uh, Dominica, Martinique, and then for the Greater Antilles, we see areas such as Jamaica, the Cayman Islands, and also Cuba. And then we see some higher totals as we uh, take a look in the vicinity of Jamaica and Cuba. And as a matter of fact, the eastern part of those areas will be receiving more uh, most of that rainfall because that is where uh, we have that activity coming from. So as we're going to be heading into this weekend, that is definitely something that is likely to take place so you guys might want to be aware of that and of course where we have that other line of activity 
is where that other friend is that is going to be making its way down and that is also going to be helping to induce rainfall uh, for some areas as well but of course we're going to talk more about that as we uh, approach the new week and so as for the euro model here we can see that it is sort of in agreement uh, with what the GFS is anticipating so we're seeing that as we head into Saturday we have that stream of activity there we have that new front and of course where we have more of those blues and the lighter shades of blue and lilac that is increasing rainfall totals so anywhere you see those colors is where the rainfall is a lot more compared to others and as for the rest of the Caribbean again there isn't going to be much rainfall at all taking place and as a matter of fact once that second front makes its way out uh, there is going to be a new pattern a dry pattern setting up across the Caribbean so uh, that is going to be returning unfortunately for many of us enjoying the weather right now uh, the cool wet weather we definitely have to just take it in while it's there because it's not going to be something persistent for a very very long time but of course the rainy season is coming up as we head into the latter part of next month and going into May and eventually we'll have summer and the official start of the hurricane season but going back to this front here next we want to take a look at the temperature anomaly map here and uh, we're going to be looking at both of the models again the GFS and the Euro so as for the GFS for today we have that massive cool air which is represented by those shades of blue now the darker the shade of blue is the lower the temperature is expected to be for that particular area white means that the temperature is pretty much normal meanwhile the warmer colors those yellows or oranges reds indicate above normal temperatures and so uh, we can see that we have that massive cool air across some parts of the northern Caribbean mainly for Cuba but uh, as we head into tomorrow on Friday we can see here that this is going to be a little bit more extensive but it is not going to be an intense drop in temperature and then also uh, I should make mention that once the current front is going to be making its way out and that high pressure is going to be setting in there is also going to be an increase in winds so winds are going to be stronger across the Caribbean and then uh, in terms of what the euro has to show for the temperature anomaly map here so this is for today again there we have that uh, massive cool air effect in the north uh, parts of the northern caribbean so that is what is on the horizon guys uh for the next couple of days and as i said i'm going to be keeping you updated and that is pretty much it for this update so i hope that you found it to be quite informative but if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments and you can also share your thoughts there and of course remember to always be weatherwise